they say they are. Thomas, what did you see? We never escaped. He's wicked. It's all just been part of their plan. Come on. Thomas! The maze is one thing, but you kids won't last one day out in the scorch. Now, you must be exhausted the amount of running and climbing you do. Mm -hmm. What's the toughest challenge? The, the upside down was definitely the toughest challenge. We would come down from the takes and they would like, you know, drop you down and then you get back down onto the mat and then you lay flat and I would literally just keep my eyes closed and kind of just like rest. And then I'd hear them call rolling again and you go back up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the blood back into the rest of my body instead of just my head. Yeah, it was we were normally kind of quite jokey, quite, quite fun. There's a lot of banter going on on set and that day was quite quiet. Everyone was just kind of in themselves for a bit, just trying to prepare not, themselves not for going up. back up again yeah. and not, not throw up lunch. Yeah. It was actually really horrible. Uh, we spent two days filming it. It took like 16 hours to do. Um, so whenever we weren't upside down, we were lying on our backs trying to breathe and trying to keep a headache away. <laughs> the stunts left me breathless. How effectively can you plan these out and which are developed on set? Oh, they're basically all planned out, you know, especially with the stunt and set piece type stuff. Um, they have to be planned out because you can't, you can't afford the time on set to be figuring that stuff out. Now, obviously, there's always you have to adapt a little bit to issues that pop up, but you have to really sit down with all the departments and we spent weeks and weeks and weeks talking about all these different little sequences, planning everything out and getting it just right because it's just too expensive on set. You know, you're talking about, you know, thousands of dollars per second, you know, so you have to be really uh, efficient. I won't take up too much of your time. I really only have one question. What do you remember about Wicked? You're not in trouble. We're just having a conversation. I'm just trying to understand. Understand what? Whose side are you on? I'm an actor, but you give the most rousing speech ever. Can you give me your top three tips for making an impact? Yeah, I guess, uh, um, yeah, be truthful with what you're saying, you know. Um, don't, uh, don't, th if you think about uh, looking a certain way or like doing a certain thing or making a certain voice, then I, I just don't think uh, it's gonna, it's gonna work for you, you know. So maybe it's just like, just thinking in here and not out here. It must be fun to reunite on a franchise, but how does the dynamic change when loads of new casts are introduced? Just their energy in itself that just changes it. Um, everybody like Rosa, Jacob, everybody, uh, Aiden, all, all were welcome additions to the family. I feel like, if anything, our family got extended uh, with the second movie, and I feel like hopefully, um, you know, for the third one, it can be, it can be the same way. This film has effortlessly become a thriller. What's your recipe for keeping audiences on the edge of their seat? First thing I did is I tried to make it not a young adult movie. They're just basically young people dealing with really serious issues, you know, and situations, you know. We wanted to hold on to that kind of sense of suspense and that intensity and not let up, you know. It, it's the same thing for these characters. It is a mad dash across this kind of landscape looking for freedom, for home, you know? So we wanted to make sure that you felt kind of like, along with these characters, exhausted, you know? With this kind of, you know, this crazy little adventure that they take. What happened? Thomas, can you just calm what down happened? and talk to us? It's wicked! It's still wicked. It's, it's always been wicked. Did you see? You've got an impressive crying scene. What's the secret for crying on camera? Um, I don't think there's a secret. You just kind of, if you feel it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. I don't think that you have to cry. I don't think crying necessarily means that you're doing a good job. Um, I think you just have to put yourself in that position and, and let your body do what it wants to do. What can the story teach us about our society? Probably about the... Um the sort of tenacity and the, the loyalty of the, the, the kind of family unit, essentially. There's, there's some really cool themes in these kind of movies, you know, and just that sense of probably young people that are kind of, you know, 
being handed a new world that have to kind of start anew, you know. So there's some cool little ideas in here that uh, we get to hit on and hopefully explore more in the next one. This is about everyone Wicked's ever taken. They'll never stop. So I'm gonna stop them. Don't you want to know why this all happened? You're so close to the truth.